In the upper right hand portion of the screen, we have the Chimera graphical editor. Chimera is a 2D illustration program akin to MacDraw and Adobe Illustrator. As I draw in the Chimera window, panels appear in the edit history window below. These panels show the scene before and after important editor operations. We rely on several techniques to make the history more manageable and more readily understood. First of all, we coalesce related operations into individual panel pairs. Here we're performing multiple add line operations to draw a single polyline, and these operations are coalesced together in the history. I'm now going to select the rectangle and make multiple copies. The selection of the initial rectangle plus the multiple copy operations have a single entry in the history. If we were to include a miniature of the entire scene in each of the panels, then these panels would be cluttered and it would be difficult to understand them. Instead, we include only those objects referenced by the operations, plus a little scene context to show where the operations occurred. We de-emphasize the scene context by lightening the colors of these objects. Editable graphical histories, as we call this history mechanism, provides a very nice interface to an undo facility. Each of these history panels represents a point in time. We can revert the editor state back to any of these points very easily. For example, let's undo back to the point in time after the initial rectangle was created, but before any of the copies were made. Now let's change the fill color of this rectangle. We do this by specifying a color in the text input widget of the Chimera control panel to the left of the editor scene. I'll specify a shade of green, and I'll choose the set fill color operation from the pop-up menu. A panel pair is generated. The first panel of the pair shows the arguments to the operation. These include the selected objects, in this case the rectangle, as well as the color specified in the text input widget. The effect of the operation is shown in the second panel. The rectangle was changed to green. If we like, we can redo the operations we had undone. Editable graphical histories provides a means of reviewing sequences of operations in a graphical application, as well as an interface to undo and redo. We are currently experimenting with using these histories for specifying and representing graphical macros.